What's up guys, welcome to another Storybook Brawl video. So everybody who qualified for the October tournament has gotten access to this beta patch. So they also allowed us to release content about the beta patch. So not all of this is perhaps official, some of it's tentative, but if some of this stuff does stay, I wanna show you guys this treasure and this game in particular. So what you're gonna see in this video is the Pied Piper buff, which I think is very good. It feels extremely good in the early game. I'm very much liking the Pied Piper. It's like an eeny meeny for an animal for the first three turns. And it still feels relevant in the mid game as well. But what's really going to break open this video is the Mad Hat Treasure. It's a tier 6. The first time you roll, every character in your shop gets 20-20. That's even more relevant with Pied Piper because there's an extra character in your shop. So as you guys see in this video, things get kind of crazy, especially if you get it really early. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys do. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh boy. Pied Piper, I love it. I love Pied Piper. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna full commit this time. It's really strong early game. I love it. A free eeny meeny for the animals you're gonna buy. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go full send on the donkey. Sorry, on the hippo and the vulture. And then we're just gonna force good boy Bearstein. I'm I'm committing. Last time I was so lost in the sauce. I don't care. I'm forcing it. Okay, Polywoggle is a 2-2. Two -two. That's much better than a 1-1. One -one. And now I get a 3-drop with an extra 1-1 one -one on it. Pie Pepper is fantastic. And so how do we get rid of Spirebot, guys? Can we kick Spirebot out for a second? I get a 3-chop with 1-1. One, one. No, no, no. Pie Piper seems amazing. I love it. Okay, I don't get anything. I don't get any 3-chop. What am I talking about? All right, I gotta... I gotta... Let's do this. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's do that. Double Slay. This is, this is the Copium build. This is the Copium build. They did change weight, yeah. Oh, Mero, you got a Lucky, huh? Just finding Lucky and uh, Skip, no big deal. Any other distant hero changes? Okay, uh, they also changed Easter Egg, but in terms of heroes, Easter Egg, um, Snow Angel got buffed, so now it gives 1-1 one, one to the creative thing. Snow Angel got buffed. And now Morgan has a quality of life change. Morgan says, um, before it was below 20, below 5. Now it's at 20 or less, or at 5 or less. I got a, I got a pig. Alright, we're going mages. Pipe Piper is actually a hatball character. Why is that? Well, because you can get 3 drops animals and make hatball. We are Spinzaku. And they also nerfed Avella. Avella now only gives one attack instead of giving one one. Snow Angel got buffed, Avella got nerfed. None of it is official, but those are the things that are in the mix. Alright, no problem. Yeah, it's a big debate pair. It's, a, it's okay. I got debated by it. But it's okay to lock because we get a 3-drop. Or we get a polywoggle. Who's down for the polywoggle? You guys think a 2-2 two -two slays? Not against Meromorphic, who's been lucky his ass off. Okay, we're gonna full commit to animals. Lucky does have two HP, but a stag has three HP. Uh, a brave princess has three HP. A Romeo has three HP. 
A Nutcracker has 10 HP. There's a lot of things that Skip could have. Or you just have a dragon. Oh, you just, or you're just running a dragon. Hit, hit the Shadow Assassin. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll trade, we'll trade gold, whatever. We're gold trading. Where am I? Where are the good animals? Can anyone tell me where the good animals are? So that was called Ogre Princess, which when it slays, you get a random character. I don't like this shop. I, I shouldn't be buying crafties, but I guess it's... I mean, it's, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, boy. Alright, I'll do this. Fuck it. This board is alarmingly bad. I'm very concerned for myself. No patch notes yet because it's not official. This board is very bad. I want the I want the three three. It has one more one more stat. That's why I wanted it. So pretty spike got changed, and now it says, for every dwarf you bought this game, you get plus one plus one. I got the slay. All right, we can win this. I got the slay. Got versus two two. Okay, Nutcracker time. Blind mouse may be a dream, but it might happen. Fanny and Tweedledee is interesting. I actually have a lot of dwarves. I could do dwarves. I'm supposed to do animals. What happened? I'm getting baited by dwarves. Yeah, Princess White's probably in the dumpster now. Princess White's probably in the dumpster now, unfortunately. Bye-bye, Princess White. Okay. I guess I could do Ring of Meteors and just go full dwarves. <laughs> Ring of Meteor dwarves. Corrupted Heartwood. Hmm. Ring of Meteors is not bad for Nutcracker either. I, I want to go for animals. I really do. Ring meters for Nutcracker would have been sick. Okay, Nutcracker can go. All right, Nutcracker, <laughs> get in there. Wait, come on. If I was very strong, it was it was brainlessly strong. All right, now it's time to do Vulture, right? This is the time. Except I had no animals. So I was supposed to commit to Vulture, but then I ended up with these. I said I was gonna go Vulture and Hippo and just force it. But how? How do I force it with this board? It's very hard to force Vulture when you have these this board. Would you guys force it regardless? Yeah, let's force it. Fuck it. If I go if I get eighth. It's treasure map time. Alright, we're about to get a six shot from Nutcracker. Oh, six shot from Blind Mouse. It's Mad Hat! The best relic in the game. Let's go. Alright, now I need the XP. Our man is insane, guys. I really need you guys to see this. I need the XP badly. This is an animal. This gets me 3-3. Three, three. Alright, let's do this. 
No, no, no. Mad Hat is so freaking good. All right, forget everything else. All right, we were going to do animals. No, no, no. Now we're going to roll and buy whatever the hell we find. Mad Hat on 4 1 is absolutely insane. Oh, just roll there. Just roll there because I have it immediately. Whoops. <laughs> I want to get the XP because I want to get a five drop characters. Preferably six drop characters. Okay. So the first roll is going to be massive. You guys ready? Here it is. Ready? Boom! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So if I do Wizard Familiar and go with that, I can also kiss something. So like, I can kiss a, a broccoli, for instance. Let's get out of all this shit. I, a copycat with this stats is kind of nuts. It triggers the last breath. Let's let's do this. All right, now we're gonna get. Now we're going. We're going full mages, baby. We're going mages. Yes, sir. I'm going mages. You're going mages, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I wait till we get to level five and six, we're just gonna roll and make a whole new board again. Nutcracker's gonna get his proc, don't worry. It's gonna give me Forking Rod, and then the Forking Rod's gonna send me to the Stratosphere. So the thing is... Uh, forking Rod time. Mad Hat is so strong when you get it early. It's ridiculous. <laughs> My board got so strong. <laughs> oh boy. So doubly's gonna be a 41, 41 if I, if I get every doubly. So I'll buy all the doublies I see. Forking Rod, here it is. Your spells have one one and cost one less, which is not bad. That's like Merlin's hat, but a budget version. And then, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and roll. So just get like really big Medusas, huh? Or a really big friendly spirit. Yes, this treasure is busted. And yes, I'm gonna abuse it. Imagine a friendly spirit that gives 25 25. Alright, well, that's nice. Yeah, Ambigony Stone Mad Hat. The thing about Ambigony Stone is that it, um... Well, the thing about Mad Hat is that it works on level 6 characters and level 5 characters, right? Like, the Friendly Spirit, for instance, is pretty spectacular. That's pretty spectacular. Like, that Friendly Spirit is one... Like, his, big, his biggest unit got soloed by a Friendly Spirit I just picked up, and then it transferred all those stats. Treasure and good boy. Absolutely. Any range unit. Any range unit is amazing. So we're gonna roll again. All right, we're getting more uh, more things. Like a range unit is an evil mage, which works with Aeon. Um, the book gives me more spells for Aeon. It's like, do I want to go mages? Do I want the, do I want a range unit? I do want a range unit. That's for sure. Am I out of uh, River Wish? Probably.
I mean, I don't mind the scaling of River Vision. I don't mind it. So now it's important that I upgrade the Wizard Familiar, though. Now remember, it's only the first roll. If the buff lands on good boy or lands on like court wizards, so I had massive court wizards with good boy, your court wizards can't be hit killed by lightning bolts. I really love the shoulder fairy chains of five. I really love shoulder fairies on five. I really, really enjoy that. I should probably put more mages on the board. No, I have Monsoon Horn, which says your characters have 1-1 one, one, and your spells cost 1 less. Plus, I got a Slay. Moon Song Horn, my bad. Moon Song. Oh, Meryl, how does it feel? You're so stabilized. Alright. So, this going to be a big mage. I could Bounty Board, I guess. And now we're going to roll. Oh my god! <laughs> And we copycat this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Holy shit. <laughs> and now I copycat it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You guys mind decking many things? Let's go, let's go, let's go all in here. All right, I say we're done with the book, huh? <laughs> I guess I could have kept the book and I put a copycat in front of the book and the friendly spirit. Yeah, deck with these gives it extra spells, which is then gonna buff these two. Beta patch is live. Keith, it's Saturday. Okay, someone bang Keith again. Mixed signals. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it, 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 it made sense because a lot, a lot of people got access to it, right? Like, so it made sense. All right, guys, I'm gonna roll. Can we get any six drops? This game is completely out of control because of this treasure, by the way. It's a good boy. And now I put copycat good boy. <laughs> All right, how do we want to configure this? How do we want to configure this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Did I lock the sure shots? We're gonna roll for no more good boys. Okay, I just gotta get my tax in. No problem. Yes, uh, another attack, another attack, another attack. Yes. 
<laughs> uh, it's like trophy hunter but backwards. All right, did I make it evil? But then it won't buff itself, right? If I make it evil, it won't buff itself. Now this for the fairies is a seventy-one thirty-nine. Oh, thirty-nine seventy-one. Would you? Do you guys like show the fairies here? All right, pop ups are very large, and they get they get buffed by good boy. Do we just sell these and put good units in, or do we want range units? I want that Hercules. But treasure. What if I have Crown of Alice and Copycat is good? Crown of Alice would be sick. Not the units I care about. Let's lots of treasure. If I get mirror, 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 it gives me 40 40. I mean, if I get mimic, I mean. Should I take Lancelot for mimic? Knighthood the copycat? Yeah. Lancelot for mimic. Maybe. I should be finding good boys because I, I, I am Pi Piper, so I can roll into good boys more easily, right? In theory. In theory, I roll into good boys easily with Pi Piper. I don't know. Palace, that's a good question. Does Masquerade count as. Oh no, I didn't get that hit it. Oh no. Oh no. We're in trouble. Alright, friendly spirit being the last to die is kind of problematic. Friendly spirit being the last to die is not a good thing. I should be finding good boys. Or copycat. There's also Core Wizard now. A lot for court wizards.
This should probably win it right now. So, you don't, you don't think Mastery counts as a roll? That's a, that's a big Cupid. The problem is he has his own Cupid. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Shit. Wait. Okay. You can't kill my Cupid now. I'm just gonna play a unit down. The Cupid just ate everything and became huge, yeah. That was a really large Cupid. I'm just gonna play a unit down. Or... Yeah. So we're both playing units down. Except me playing a unit down is not so bad for me. Donkey could backfire. You're not wrong. I could remove. I could play tunes down. Get rid of the donkey. Lock and transfer Hercules next round. No, no, no. There's no need. It can get backfired if like it gets hit by a small attack and then it summons in slot one and then slot one attacks and that makes this not attack. Is what he was saying. Hercules. That's a big that's a big donkey. Jeez Louise is a big donkey. That's a fat donkey. Alright, so this was a very stupid treasure. As soon as I got it, it was just lights out. 